Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I threw this team together with a SD Natural Gift Scissor. We got the, I don't know how to pronounce this word, but it's the berry that turns Natural Gift into a base 90 fire type move. It's able to go ahead and lure Pokemon like Mega Scissor and Ferrothorn, which really opens up endgame paths for Mega Diancie. I pretty much built this team just because I didn't want the UBL team builder to be the only video on the channel today. Figured this could be some fun, and ideally it can be right here. Mega Diancie, like I said, is the biggest abuser of the removal of Mega Scissor and Ferrothorn which this can easily do right here so we got rocks three attacks i didn't want to put hp fire on here because i do want to get those ko's with this thing right here so rocks three attacks mega dance scarf lando cool halucha check cool speed control we got double ground immunity with a defog torn this is the team z movie user right here this is our defogger we got heat trans so we got double rocks on the team figured why not i don't want the hp fire on this so i'll just go ahead and run rocks tran as well we got taunt right here cool stall breaker and then finally choice specs Keldeo, just as a cool way to break walls we have icy wind on here just to go to two at ko pokemon like the lottie's coming in and yeah that'll be the team you can find it down below in the description and let's get right into the game all right, I found a game. This guy's got some screens, and I, what I can do right here is just lead off with my Landry's T as they lead off with the Tapu Koko. They know I'm Choice Scarf because my Intimidate went off first, so I'm just going to call their switch and go for U-Turn right here. You should always go into either Landry's or Como, I would guess. Like, pretty much Landry's is your only option, right? Maybe I should just Earthquake right away, though, because... Like, I can pivot. Actually, I don't really pivot into Landry's. I'm just going to U-Turn out. Hmm. I hope they're not staying, though. That would be such a whack play, but I feel like they might do it, which is why I'm tempted to Earthquake. Yeah, like, I don't get that, but I guess what I can do here is just go, like, huge grand. It looks kind of bad, this game. As, yeah, they just get up their screens. Like, what if I just Earthquake right away? Such a, an offensive read. Maybe they don't, like, know the mechanics of that, but I can't assume that. I'll go for Earth Power here because I feel like they're taunting, yeah, and, like, there's no point in going for rocks on that. I do, like, 5 million percent, and honestly, I feel like Magma Storming here into Landers is fine. Because, like, there's no way they're going to give me their screen setter, I don't think so, yeah. Halucha is actually really interesting, because I would have just gotten rid of it right there. And now it's alive, which is, like, super lame. But now it's dead, because I crit the second one, so... Hey, I'll take that, I missed the first one. Man, if he can come in here. I mean, I guess the odds of hitting two is pretty slim. They go back to Coco, which is, like, interesting. I'll just get up my rocks on the light screen now. Yeah, that's whatever. And honestly, I can just go, like, Tornadus here. It kind of prevents everything from setting up. Just because, like, this doesn't have an electric move. It has a U-turn or whatever. They go right for the Taunt, which is, like, fine. I'll just go right for the Hurricane, I guess. <laughs> They're just, I'm stalling out their own screen right now, which is funny. I'll go for the U-turn here. Maybe they just stay in. Yeah, so I'm able to stall out a ton of screen turns, which is super nice. I'm trying to get the scissor to attack that Mawal with the Watmel. Or not the Watmel, the Blockberry. That would be super cool. But I think right now what I want to do is just go Scarf Lando. And then maybe they go... I mean, I don't think Como is a play because their screen is gone, right? They go Como anyway. I'll just Earthquake it. I feel like they might go for Z, but like I'll live that. They go for Belly Drum and it just fails. I mean, the crit would have like put it out of... like Even without the crit, they wouldn't have got the Belly Drum up. So they give me that guy. To get in what, though? Like, maybe set up Lando? I guess this is what they're going for. I'll go Keld this turn, because it kind of just wins. Like, they go for Explosion, which is fine. I just go, like, Landers here, and if they go Mana, I'll just, like, explode on that guy. Yeah, this is cool. I'll just explode here. Because I can beat the Mana Fee once the screen is gone anyway, so... That's able to live and get its screen up, but I'll just bring this dude out now and Bullet Punch. So it doesn't look like I'll get to use the berry this game, which is kind of lame, but that's whatever, I guess. I just bullet punch that dude, and then, like, even Mawal cannot beat my, my Pokemon here. It's not even Intimidate, which is, like, super whack. <laughs> just go for bullet punch again. I do way too much, and I should have speed investment for this. In fact, I always outspeed it, so that's going to be the game, and I will be right back. Oh lord, I have another game right here. This guy's really weak to my Keldeo, alongside my Mega Diancy. I can maybe use the Z to lure something like Kartana, or maybe Magirna. Either of them work, but they have Heatran to, like, initially switch into this, which kind of sucks. Even Zard can come in. Hmm. I'll lead off with this, as they lead off with Tapu Koko. I don't know if this guy's gonna play like the- I'm just gonna Earthquake this time, man. <laughs> no, but Zard gets a kill, right? I can't let that happen. I'm Earthquaking. Okay, this guy makes the smarter play. I'll go Tornadus now, just because, like, it's good, but I don't necessarily need it this game. I can just throw off a Z-move when it comes in and get some good damage on something. They go Zard. If this is Zardax, it's getting blown away, so I'll just go for my Fly here. 
If it's Zardui, I'll live, but even damage on that's good for scissors, so I wouldn't mind. It is Zardui. I'm pretty sure there's a role where I can't Oko, but it should be in their favor. Oh, never mind. There's no role where I Oko. I did live on once somehow. I'll Hurricane here and just hope that I hit so that they don't get the roost off. Like, I don't really care about Coco coming in. I just don't want this roosting, which is why I'm not U-turning here. This guy goes hard Lando. What a play. Free Scarf. Man, why would you risk damage on that? That's really whack. They get up rocks. I'll just defog those. Rocks is a whatever play to me. I just want to make sure these are off the field as they U-turn there. But it sucks that I didn't hit the first time because I would have just 2 code. But I guess the chance of hitting 2 is, like, slim. So out comes this dude. I'll just go, like, Lando again. I think I'll just click U-turn this time as the lander should come back, I guess. I would guess that comes back, yeah. Just go Keldeo here and click Scald. Yeah, they don't switch into this mod. Even Magirna getting worn down is great for Diancy, so... That would be cool with me. Nothing else comes in. Everything dies. Magirna has to be AV, which I think it is. It indeed is. I'll go Heatran. I'm not risking my Scarf Lando this game. As they do go for the Volt. So good play there. What even prevents my hazards? I'm still gonna try to get a hazards on you. As they Earth Power me, but... Like, now look at your Hydro Pump switch and I'm just going to kill every mon with Hydro Pump here. Magirna will get 2 code. I guess Cartana could win for them, but... Just don't miss, Keldeo. I need you to hit these. You're my win con. If you hit these, we'll be good here. Despite everything that's happening. There we go. That is called a hit. So if Cartana comes out, I can go like Lando. I go Tapu Coco, though. I'll go Lando here. As they defog, okay, just for the, the Zard, I guess. I'll click U-turn, I don't think they're giving me this guy. So they go back to Lando, so I just got another kill here, which is nice. Skull just blows something away now. So yeah, this Keldeo was my win con this game, I'm just trying to make sure it gets every kill possible. I have my scissor in the back with that thing to maybe stop the... I, I got Mono Wild Brother Heatran, so I gotta hope they give me that at some point. <laughs> That's what I really gotta hope for here. I have double rocks too, so if I want to, I can just get up rocks later and try to make kill the Zard on entry again. So that thing dies. I guess Cartana might come out this time. Yeah, I gotta go Scissor, unfortunately. I don't really have another play against this. This still dies to Bullet Punch, so like, I don't know why this came out. That's yeah, so go Heatran. I'll just go like Keldeo again, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, I think I keep Scissor no matter what. I'll go Keld. That's a really strong attack, jeez. But, I mean, I didn't need Keldeo at this point. It gets outspread and pressured by a lot. I just gotta really hope... Okay, hitting this would be beautiful for the Bullet Punch. In fact, Bullet Punch might just win. And I hit to the left, so, you know, what's new? I'm gonna go Landorus on the Thunderbolt, and, um... Man, that's so rough. I don't know what to do about that. Now, like, now I gotta call the Zard coming in. This thing should be in range. Zard does come in, okay. So I'll just go Diancy and click Power Gem for a kill. I will Mega Evolve, even though I really was trying to avoid it. And yeah, that damage on Coco would have had the game secured, but now they actually have a chance with Cartana. Hmm, this is rough. Cartana comes back. Actually, I just went with the Lando, I think, so I'll just go Scissor here on the Smart Strike and just, like, U-turn. Yeah, I think I just went with Lando plus, like, every guy, every other guy. So Tapu Koko comes in. I'll just bring this dude in and click Earthquake, I guess. Like, why not? Even Heatran coming in isn't a big deal. I don't know if they're going to sack this or sack the Heatran. Or even go Hard Cart. That could be a play. They sack the Tran, which is fine. They have to go Cartana here. I think I'll just sack off my Diancy now. Yeah, this could be the game. This could be it. Suck off Keldeo. Leaf Blade, huh? 
This is happening. Come on. No, I mean, I got the natural gift off, but they got their thing to do the thing. Um, go Lando, get intimidated, go dancey. No, I stay in here. You turn out. That did a lot. I bring this out now, I live and clothe Earthquake, but I was really hoping to natural gift the Cartana, not the scissor. They crit me, which um, shouldn't matter. Wait, did I just lose off a crit? No, there's no way. This kills. This definitely kills. Yeah, I just lost off a crit. That's so lame, too. Man, I'm sad, but I'm also I'm more so sad because the natural gift didn't work on the Cartana. Yeah, so they win the game right there because they crit my Lando. Kind of sucks, but I'll be right back. All right, I have another game right here. Sucks to get robbed from the last game, but ideally we can win this one. This guy gets destroyed by Keldeo. Even Torn just kind of has fun here. I'll lead off with Torn against... I was hoping not to see Tapu Koko out of all mons. I'll go Lando. There's no, you're not HP icing. You're not going for Z Dazzle or any of that. You're going for U-Turn or you're going for Thunderbolt? As they Volt Switch, so that's fine. I'll U-Turn out here as they go Lando, so I just get in my Keld now. Do I think there's Scarf Explosion? Um, I'm gonna scout for it. Even Tornadus is not a good scout though, I'm just gonna Scald. This guy goes Skarmory, man, why, why did you have to sack off the, the Scissor Fodder? I was trying to get the natural gift off on this thing. Kinda sucks, but... You just give me the Skarm, okay. So Tepu Coco can come back, or even like Tepu Lele can come in. Hmm. Yeah, that's really... Sad, but I guess I got a kill, so I don't know why I'm sad about it. Um, I think I keep my Lando because Skarm is actually gone now, so it looks like really good. I'll just go like Heatran, I guess. I'll go Heatran here. So the HP is trying to catch my Lando, which is like fine. Just get up my rocks now. Yeah, Lando just actually looks really good here. I'll just go like Tornadus, I guess. That's the Earthquake. <laughs> this guy's getting red. Yo, I'm gonna Z here, as they just stand. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> I guess Chansey can come in, or maybe Tapu Koko once again. I, I don't go Lando, Lando kills everything now. I don't sack this off, I just sack off my... Honestly, Diane. No, everything looks good here, I don't actually know what to sack off. Like, I'm actually confused, what do I sack here? I guess Scissor, you look kinda bad. Yeah, they're trying to play off my chokes of going hard Lando, but like, I'm not gonna do that, it kills everything, why would I ever do that? Metacham comes in. I'll just go like Landers here and Earthquake. <laughs> Actually, I can just U-turn. Like, that, that'll that kill it too. Yeah, Metacham dies to, to U-turn from 30. Yeah, get out of there. Just bring out, like, my... Heatran, maybe. Yeah, Heatran's cool. Tepu Lele can come in if it wants to, but, like, that's fine as well. If they give me the knock on chance at any point, I think the game is over. What I don't want happening is they just go ahead and forfeit. Yeah, the only way they could win is if I like choked away my health on Heatran. But even then, like Scissor could take on a choice locked to Lele. So we're able to go ahead and win right there. I will be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. Honestly, there's no bad lead for Tornadus this game. As my opponent decides to lead off with the Tapu Fini. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just attack this because the damage could be great for Diancie later. I also like the play of just clicking knockoff because I don't want to burn my Z into like Magnezone coming in. That would be super whack. So they go Beedrill here. I almost clicked my Z move right away. That was a really interesting switch. Hmm. Do I just click it here? Like, I can just U-turn too. I'll take whatever they want to do. As they go for U-turn as well, that's fine. They go Lando here. So, like, I can just go, I guess, Keldeo now. And maybe just go back to Torn on the Fini coming in. I like that play a lot because it really puts the pressure on them right here. They instead go Superior, which is cool. I'm just gonna fire it off now because this guy is already seeming to make like super interesting decisions. Just give me your Serp, please. I outspeed this thing, so I'll just go Heatran here on the Flash Cannon. Get up my rocks as Feeny comes in. Taunted to prevent the Defog. I apparently forgot to pick Ignore on, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, maybe slow down from here. I don't want to choke away my lead. In fact, I think there's no way I lose unless I do choke, so let's just be careful. I'll go out into this on the Moon Blast and just click Knock Off. Get rid of the lefties. Because of that spectacular up, I'm just going to U-turn out now. 
Maybe into... Like, I don't want to go Lando. That would be super bad for me if it takes damage. But I guess it's it's not the biggest deal. They go for their defog finally, which is cool, I guess. Let's go for Earth. Nah, I'll just go for U-turn. I don't want their Lando coming in. And, like, I'm getting chip on this guy anyway. So let's bring this back in here as they, they just go for Scald. I unfortunately miss, which is, like, pretty terrible. But I can go Diancie you now and just 2 it KO it. So yeah, that's cool with me, I guess, but like things could have gone a lot better here. So Moonblast does exactly 37. They're going to get destroyed by my Keldeo, I just realized. Yeah, that's going to blow them away. Just Moonblast again. Okay, so they throw away the Wincon. That's a play. That is indeed a decision they have made. Where do I go here? Like, maybe Heatran? I could open up zone for them, I guess. Now Heatran is expendable. So they go for Sacred Sword, which is fine, I guess. I'll just go Landorus now. As they go out into their own. I'll just U-turn and bring in Keld. As they get a Barak, it's nice. I just claim one with Scald. Or actually, I might have to click Hydra Pump just to it KO the Feeny, which is super lame. I'm just gonna calc it, like, why not? Feeny, oh you defog. Yeah, Scald will to it KO it, so like, I just click that here. Yeah, just get rid of this thing with a couple things and go from there. Uh, Kartana cannot win because I have Scissor with Bullet Punch. So Zone comes in. I'll go Lando on Specs Flash Cannon. Okay, knowing that Specs is really nice, I'm not gonna lie. I'll explode here. And then just get in like... Honestly, Keld again is fine. Just click like Scald. Yeah. They go Cart, but like this Cart's locked into whatever it clicks, so... I just sack off my Tran. As they don't even knock me out, okay. So now I just get up rocks to make sure- Well, actually, this thing will survive. They go Landorus, and of course I miss, because, you know, that's that's what happens here. But Keldeo can beat it. I'm actually faster than it, because it's, like, really defensive, I guess. Just click Scald here. Yeah, knock that guy out. They're gonna go Cart. Just sack off my Diancy and then win with Bullet Punch. This is a weird game. I just knock that out, and then, like, Beedrill cannot win. Like, they just go ahead and forfeit, yeah, because they can't even Oko my Keldeo without a crit. So I'm able to go ahead and win that one. I don't know what, I don't know how to feel about that game. Like, I thought the early game really well, and then... I didn't play well for the mid to late game. I didn't, I don't want to actually say I didn't play badly. I just think I played overly safe for the, uh, you know, guaranteed win. But some of their decisions, even after, like, I showed that I was going to make the obvious play. For example, clicking the Z into Serp, they continued playing super recklessly, so... I don't know, I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. This guy does have a Ferrothorn, but they have some other good responses to my Scissor too, being Manectric and Lando, so I don't know if they're going to use that as their initial response. Heatran looks great right here. Caldeo looks pretty bad, because between the Muck, the Melody, and the Feeny, even the Manectric, so... I'll lead off with Tornadus here against Lando, and like... I feel like I just want to go into my own Lando, predicting Stone Edge. Yeah, let's do that. I can't risk Scarf Stone Edge right away. Tornadus is one of my better Pokemon here. Just kind of clicking knockoff or whatever. So I go for the edge. It does look Scarf. I think I just like a U-turn. This Ferrothorn comes in. Hey, you know what? I'm doing this now. Come here. Okay, so they make the Feeny pivot. <laughs> kind of sucks, but that's fine, I guess. I'll just go um, for the SD here. Actually, that's not a play yet. I'll go Tornadus first. As they go back to Lando. Should I Z this time? A. We got him. Alright, so I get rid of their Lando for free, but... I mean, I'm still in a tough spot against this thing because it destroys my team. <laughs> uh, Lando just looks a good late game. I feel like I should keep that guy no matter what. Let's go Heatran this time. On Charge Beam. That's a move. That's indeed a move. Let's go for Rocks on the Thunderbolt and then just like Earth Power. Because, like, if they give me damage on the Feeny, I'm just going to have a ton of fun with Keldeo anyway. 
this is what I'm trying to do. I mean, he's really unlucky. He didn't get a charge beam boost either time. There's the to bolt. So like here, I can just go. I want to say Diancy here. Just go right for like Moonblast. I don't think we think they have Volt Switch. Like I think they're like Charge Beam, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, or HB Ice. If I had to guess. Yeah, I, I highly doubt this guy has Volt Switch. It's kind of funny. So they go low and muck. So here I can just go. I can easily win the game with my SD Scissor alone. But I need that Fair Thorn out of the way. Let's go for Earth Power here. It's like the damage on this thing is worth it. As they go for the jab and don't get a poison. <laughs> Earth Power again. As it doesn't appear as though that's any sort of roll, which is kind of unfortunate. Earth Power one more time. Why would I not Moonblast here? And like Manector comes out here. I guess I just like go. I can't sack Lando. I can't not sack Lando. That's the thing. I gotta sack off some somebody else here. I think I I think I go no not Scissor. Maybe Keld looks bad. Yeah, Keld is sackable. They go for Tibolt, which is fine. I'll go out into my Landorus here and just click a U turn. Hmm. They go Ferrothorn. So Landorus can only click Earthquake from now on, unless this thing dies. Unless the Lottie dies. Oh, this guy's messing up. What are we out here doing? Catch me going up to plus six and clicking Bullet Punch three times. What do you have? You have a Leech Sheet? Yeah, there's the Leech Sheet, okay. I'll click a U-turn here. Then, and then I'll just like Bullet Punch them after, I guess. Yeah, so just knock that boy out. My Landorus comes back in, which is kind of cool. Honestly, I could just go like Tornadus here, because their Manector dies on entry. Yeah, let's just go Tornadus. Because like, Tapu Fini is going to come in. If I just like Hurricane this, then I think I'm good to go. Yeah, so there's a Hurricane. They do Defog for the Manector to come back. Good play, but I don't think it's going to make like a that big of a difference here. Yeah, I'm hitting all the Hurricanes, that's kind of neat. Should I save this guy? Nah. Yo, Tornadus is so good. Tornadus is the best Pokemon to Pokemon. Have a knockoff. Okay, stop doing that. <laughs> Go Lando here on the Wish. And just explode, like... They can't win, even if they sack off the Manectric. Yeah, so now just go, like, Scissor and Bullet Punch the main. And, like, that's gonna be GG, so... I guess I should, like, switch out in case the Intimidate actually ends up mattering. That would be such a whack way to lose. Yeah, let me get out of there. And then, actually, they missed the Charge Beam, but, like, Bullet Punch would have won anyway. That was another weird game, but I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. This guy gets very destroyed by Mega Diancy, but they have Dirt Jirachi, which I do have to predict. Maybe go for some Earth Powers, but... I do think my optimal lead right here is my... I want to say Scissor. Okay, so Scissor was not the optimal lead. I might have been lying. Let's go Heatran. I'm surprised this guy didn't discharge, because people like to click that with this mon. But I not really care. Gastrodon comes in. I'll just go Tornadus. As the Earthquake. That's fine. I'm just going to knock off and like get rid of your item. As they miss a Toxic. Kind of sucks for them. I'll U-turn here. Yo, should I go Scissor? I'm doing it. Yo, that could have been such, so easily punished. That's kind of wild. Go for U-turn. They got a static para, which kind of makes up for stuff, I guess. I'll bring this guy out and just click, like, Moonblast. As they stand and get crit by Moonblast. Jeez. Okay, so Tepu Bulu comes in. I like the Heatran play, but I don't want them super powering into that. I'll just bring out Tornadus as they go right for the Jirachi. Kind of want to know if you're Scarf. Your Tornadus wins the game if I don't get paralyzed. Does this die to Z-Fly? I feel like I don't even want to calculate. I'm just going to go for it here. Yeah, get out of there, Gastrodon. Yeah, I, I didn't really want to calculate. I'll just go for a U-turn. Honestly, Scissor, you might have to be the sack this game. You look relatively terrible. Actually, never mind. You look kind of okay considering 
Zapdos is at 10% right now. <laughs> I'll go Keld here on the Fire Blast. I'm able to chew that and just get like a free Skull going here. They have to like risk Bulu getting burnt, which is pretty bad for them. I even got a crit into it. This guy's not getting lucky at all, but I also think that... I don't know, like not roosting Zapdos, not scouting for the Z. Those are all interesting decisions too. Go Scissor here on the camera up. Hmm. Should I go Tornadus? Could also go Heatran, I guess. Heatran looks super nice with like Magma Storm though. I don't think I'd do that. I'll just go back to Keld. As their power, okay. I'll go, um, go Lando here. I want to say I just click Earthquake. Now you turn. Really? I'm getting red, but... Okay, I'll bring this in now, because that's very confusing. Okay, I'm... This guy's very much confusing me. I'm going to Earthquake this time. Um, and of course get that wrong. So they get the Roost off, which is like the one thing I was trying to avoid. I got like four turns wrong in a row right there. That was kind of sad. Let's get up the rocks though and just like put this thing back out of the game, I guess. Okay, I gotta set up a win con. That's what I'm like missing right here. This dies to Moonblast, dude. I can go Heatran. As they wish. Into what? Like, I guess I'm just gonna go Landorus. As they got into the camel, you know what? This camel is pissing me off. <laughs> Let's explode on it. Yeah, get out of here, camel. Good. Now I just get to Earth Power without thinking about it twice. So that thing goes down. This thing dies. What? Okay, it is Scarf. Like, I had a suspicion, but... I do think that my Heatran will just solo. I can just bring it out right here and click Magma Storm. Like, what do you do about it? Like, I guess you have to revenge it with, like, Bulu. Yeah, if I hit my Magma Storms, I think I just win with Heatran alone. Because, like, even Mach Punch is going to do nothing, and then, like... I guess I won't stand on that, but... I go hard Arachi as I get my thing off. I'll Earth Power here and just knock it out. Well, I thought it would kill it, but I was a little bit mistaken. I miss, of course, as the Iron Head... Okay, so um, I have like four Magma Storms left, um, and I'm getting kind of robbed right now. Okay, this is 5 million percent going for superpower. Okay, that was not the attack I was anticipating, huh? Alright, well this still solos if I just hit all my moves, so Heatran, come on. Finally, I actually hit one. <laughs> Breloom's not going to do anything with Mach Punch, dude. So they go for superpower. Breloom comes out. I just bring out my scissor. Man, those misses were lame. They doubled to Zapdos, which is a good play, I guess. I have to go back to Heatran on the roost and just Magma Storm here. I'm able to hit that, which is nice. I'll taunt it here to prevent it from roosting. They're like choking the game away right now. As yeah, no roost. Magma Storm here. I can't afford to burn this, can I? No, no, I can. I can indeed. Yeah, and then I think I beat the Breloom with Scissor in the end. I taunt here to prevent the SD. As they spore. But they can't spore, so. I already power now. They have Focus Punch. Um, Yeah, so I win. <laughs> because I just spam this. That's not happening, man. Yeah, and at this point you're in range of bullet punch no matter what. And I just win the game here, like, because they don't have a mock punch on this thing. It's the brute focus punch set. I think I saw Blunder using this recently, but we have time for one more, so I'll be right back. Alright, I got another game right here. This has been a very interesting live because we have some very interesting matchups between, like, specifically this two. And I'm recording at 1am and it's also a very quick build, so like, really interesting. But I think that Diane C plus Heatran just kind of wins the game. So they lead Moltres. I think I just get up rocks. Like, they can go Gliscor, I guess, but I'm not really too concerned about that. Yeah, Gliscor comes in. I'll just pivot to Torn here on the Defog and just, like, Hurricane as Zapdos comes in. It's offensive Zapdos based off that damage. I'm gonna get a Diancie here as they hit themselves. Just Power Gem here as Gliscor comes in. 
Why do I feel like that's gonna die to Moonblast? Yeah, I'm going for it. This dies. <laughs> they go Articuno. Yo, should I get a Prox? Okay, they go Ferrothorn. Go Scissor. Yo, Luf, maybe I can end it off with a Scissor 6 0. That would be, like, really cool. Uh, that was the turn to go for Natural Gift. Sucks. Okay. Go for Magma Storm here then and just pick up a kill. Or I guess I thought so. Or so I thought. I'll go for my Z here. Because I feel like they're staying in. Yeah, and I just get rid of Gliscor right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Zapdos comes in. I don't think I bothered even going for the U-turn. Go Diancie on the Roost. As they protect. I have no reason not to spam it. I'm going Scissor again, and this time I'm clicking the attack that I should have clicked last time. Ah, oh, man. Why? I know they should protect, but why would you risk me as Zing? Alright, well, that's that. I don't think I'm getting a natural gift off this live. That really sucks, but... Hey, I went for it. Didn't work out. What can I say? Go for U-turn here. As they go zap zap. Okay. Just get this guy in. Click. Scald. Because they have protect, like, I really can't do much. I'll go uh, scissor here, I think. Just because Zapdos is a weekend and it's really their only pivot into this guy. They unfortunately burn me, like... I guess I've gotten some Scald Burns in this live too, but come on, why? Why does that have to happen? Let's get this guy in now and just click Hurricane. The attack that they don't deal with at all. So that's going to take 5 million. As they Psychic there. I'll knock off here as I get rid of this thing's lefties, which is like actually really nice for me. I'll suck off this to the, the rocks. As they go Moltres, but like, I just gotta kill with Keld now. Cause like, even though Slowbro got regen, it's not gonna like, take my hit at all. Yeah, I just Scald here and kill something. Yeah, Slowbro gets 2 code, so I just knock that out with a couple of these. So they go Ferrothorn, so they just give me a hit on Slowbro. We'll go Tran here and just Magma Storm for a kill now. As they go for Power Whip. Just Magma Storm here. They're probably gonna sack their Zapdos. They sack the Moltres, okay. That's a play. Yeah, this thing's this game's over. It was always over, I think, but now it's like for sure over. What do they even do here? Like, Slowbro's their one play. Zapdos is not a play. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to ignore. GG. Alright. Magma Storm it up here. I do miss. Now I'm out of them. <laughs> Should have taunted. Yeah, no. I'll go, uh... Lando. Sack that guy to bring this thing in. Go Power Gem. Ferrothorn will get 2 code by this. Yep, and, uh... I just win the game with this. This dies, and then Slowbro will die too, so... Yeah, that's gonna be the game right there. I did hope you all enjoyed the live. We did get to click National Gift a couple times. I didn't really get to target what I wanted, though, which kind of sucked, but we got to click it, which was cool. And, yeah, that's going to be it. I think that was 6-1, which is pretty nice, and I'll see you next time. Later.